Welcome to the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. Hi, I'm Becca Gass, and I would like to give you a quick look at what it might be like to be a patient with parathyroid disease requiring surgical intervention and what we can do for you. As a patient, you'll be asked to make your way through the main lobby entrance and over to the patient admission desk to check in. From here, your day will be laid out for you. You may be asked to make the short trip up to the 18th floor of the Mayo Building to meet and speak with your endocrinologist. If you have not yet had any specific workup or imaging done at this point, your endocrinologist will order the appropriate tests for you. You can conveniently have them done and resulted within 48 hours. Let's see what our experts have to say. Primary hyperparathyroidism is a very common disorder. It affects one in 500 women and one in 1,000 men annually here in the United States. We have the largest group of endocrinologists at Mayo who specialize in bone and parathyroid disorders. These individuals also are experts in diagnosing thyroid disease that may require surgery at the same time as your parathyroid operation. As part of your workup, radiology imaging tests will be performed to aid in locating any abnormal parathyroid glands. This preoperative imaging is very important as it can help your surgeon to plan the most directed, focused resection possible. For you, this can mean a safer, less extensive surgery with faster healing. We talk with our colleagues in those areas whenever we have unexpected tests, and so communication is one of our principal strengths here in Rochester. Perhaps one of the most unique features of our practice here is that we work directly with our endocrine surgeons. And in fact, when we see patients together with primary hyperparathyroidism, we meet on the floor, discuss their case, perhaps review the images, talk about the complexities, and try to decide what's in the patient's best interest, along with the patient helping guide us on which treatment is best for them. Surgery is indicated in people with overt symptoms. These symptoms may include kidney stones, fragility fractures, weakness, fatigue, depression, or cognitive dysfunction. However, surgical intervention may be indicated in patients without these overt symptoms. Indications for surgery in asymptomatic patients include a very high blood calcium level, severe bone thinning or osteoporosis, poor kidney function, or age less than 50 years. Surgery for primary hyperparathyroidism is not without risk. Complications can include bleeding, infection, nerve injury, and other symptoms associated with low levels of blood calcium. The good news is the risks related to surgery are fairly low and complications most often are temporary. Fortunately, 70 to 80% of patients with primary hyperparathyroidism have single gland disease. Advancements in imaging of glands and the development of a rapid assay for parathyroid hormone allow us to limit the extent of surgery to just one small area. If you have a diagnosis of hyperparathyroidism, we would be more than happy to provide your care here at Mayo Clinic. Our surgical community has come so far that we can have you in and out of your procedure safely in the same day. You and your loved ones can rest assured that the needs of the patient come first here with us at the Mayo Clinic.